Is life simply a mirror? Are we attracting our circumstances with our conscious and subconscious thoughts? It's easy to believe that this is the case when things are going well, when we have attracted or accomplished things that we're proud of. For example, that extremely kind and understanding patient, you know, the one you forgot about, and then freaked out and ran into the room only to find them calm as a cucumber, reading a book, and smiling. So refreshing. But what about the other patients? The ones that test you unrelentingly for 12 hours non-stop. Is this also part of you? The other day I had a patient that every time I left for 5 minutes, he would scold me when I got back into the room saying that I had been gone for hours or hadn't been there all day. I was so surprised at just how demanding and impatient he was. But when I truly thought about it, there is a part of me that is extremely, incredibly, impatient and demanding and I truly take it out on the people that are closest to me. When we look at our life circumstances in new light, not judging, and with arms wide open, we can truly see how our entire environment is teaching us. Our relationships are one of the best ways for us to understand ourselves. This does not mean that we allow people to hurt us. However, it means that we understand that the only way for us to be hurt is to recognize that that person triggered something within ourselves. The people we attract into our spaces can unveil the shadows within us. We can use this as an opportunity to shed light and love into our most unattractive qualities. You see, nobody can push pain or suffering upon us. They can only bring out what is already inside. When we look at our reality in this way, we can learn to love the outside and the inside. We are learning to love everything in the deepest possible sense. Our job is to watch the way we react. You see, we do not attract what we think about, we attract what we feel, or what we are resonating or vibrating. Now it is true, sometimes we match a vibration or situation. Other times we are exposed to a vibration or situation because we discover ourselves through contrast. It is okay to be sensitive, but understand that there are a lot of insensitive people in the world. And you have to arrange your life so that their energy does not affect you. One way that I do this is to be prepared or on top of things as much as possible. Work hard, do your best, and if you know a particular patient likes fill in the blank, do your best to do that. Or if you know a particular doctor likes, again, fill in the blank, do your best to do that. And then steer clear as much as possible when they are around. The best thing we can do when we find ourselves in an undesirable situation is to not react. Be still, take deep breaths, and start to notice the good that is all around you. Because when you look for the good or bad in any situation, you will find it. When people are miserable, they are looking for misery all around them. And when people are joyous, they are looking for the joy all around them. Where are you placing your attention? Because that is what is growing. Focus on what you love, because that is the greatest thing that you can do. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing week. I'll see you next Monday. Bye.